Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing everything that I bought at the Black Friday sale in store. So I went shopping on Friday. I actually just went to the store to go to David Jones to get a glass house candle and I expected to be there for literally 10 minutes. I got there at 9 a.m. and I was there for four and a half hours. And the only reason I had to leave was because I had an appointment. I would have stayed longer. But basically every single store had an insane sale. It was so busy. I was so impressed with like the effort on sales this year. I would probably say it's like on par with Boxing Day, if not better. So I did the bulk of my ordering and shopping online. So I'm waiting for all that stuff to arrive. I'm gonna do a separate video of doing like a very large unboxing of everything that I bought online. But this is everything that I bought in store. So let's get started. I've poured myself a little blend. So I went into Levi's because I've been needing a pair of denim shorts for the longest time. Like I want to say I just went the entire of last summer without denim shorts. So I got these ones. Literally I walked in, the first one I saw, they're like 20 off, no they're 30% off. And I was like these are exactly what I want. The leather, the leather, the leather, the denim is so soft and they're just really well made. And I was just like, this is perfect. High waisted, a very casual fit. Big fan of these. Very, very cute. I've already worn them like such a fan. They were $70, which like I intend to have these for years. So I feel like that's such a good buy and they're good quality. So they're my first Levi's item actually. I then went into witchery, which is a little bit controversial because I also shops online. But I just went in and had a little peek and I'm sure that I would have seen this dress online, but it just like didn't jump out to me. And I saw it in person and I was like, that's something on my list. On my list, I specifically had a white casual summer dress that's conservative enough for me to wear to work in uni. And this was exactly the brief. And it was on sale. Everything I got was on sale. Oh, it's like beautiful linen. And it's got like a nice little high neckline. I'll insert a photo of it because the lighting might not be great in here. So yeah, I didn't even try this on. I just walked in. I was like, that one. I'm hoping I'm hoping that the 10 fits me, but if not, I can just like exchange it. But I'm ugh, it's just like so beautiful. I had this white dress that I've literally had, I want to say for at least five or six years. And it's just sort of like pilling and like the strap actually has like come off like three times and I've had to like sew it back on. And I was like, you know what? I can afford a new dress. So I'm going to treat myself to a new white dress. I'm a big fan of a white dress and just like sneakers, amazing. Or even sandals. Okay. I then went into Rebel Sport because I want a running belt. I'm training for a couple of triathlons and marathons next year. And I need like a like something thin-ish that goes around my waist or my phone, some gels, and potentially like a small little water pouch. And the sales assistant, the sales assistant was like so cute and so nice and so helpful. And he was just like, yeah, like I bought these for like my mum and my sister. He probably didn't, but he was just like such a good salesperson. And I was just like, oh, perfect, like this is fine. Look at the size of this. He managed to put my phone in here. I have a six, uh, a six plus. I have a 13 plus, like the, the, the big ones. I'm like, you need a raise. Um, anyway, so I was just like, oh yeah, this is fine. Like, it's fine. It's a Nike one. I get to the checkout. Not only is it not on sale, but it's, how much was it? It was something a little bit ridiculous, um, meaning I'm going to go and return it. I found one online from like this running store for literally $16. And it was like a little bit bigger and like it was just like, it, it really fit the bill. This was $45 for this piece of material with a zip on it. So very sadly, I never return things usually because I don't impulse buy and I really should have stood my ground, but I didn't even ask how much it was. Like that's a really bad habit. You should always like be like, oh, how much is it? Or look at the tag and then be like, oh, is this worth it? Absolutely not. Ridiculous. So, I mean, that one doesn't really count, does it? Next up, again, I, I literally went into Black Friday with hours worth of research, if you will. I made a very 
descriptive list. I had on there denim high-waisted shorts that were loose fitting. I had on there sneaker. I had white dress. I had sneakers that were white and wipeable because I'm currently wearing Converse. They are so dead, you guys. Like I, they're so stained. Like and I wash them in the washing machine, but like they've seen better days. It's been years. And then my lab shoe most of the time. I have like ankle boots, but as well, they're falling apart. So I've added ankle boots to my list. I didn't, sadly, I haven't found any cute ones. But I really needed white sneakers that were really comfy, that I can wear to the lab, just wear in real life, and that were wipe downable. I have a pair of Louis Vuitton white sneakers that are wipe downable, but they're $1,000 and I don't want to wear them into the lab, and they're not very comfortable. So I went into Hype. I'm such a basketballer. I've never been into Hype before. And I did have my eye on some Lacoste ones, like on the Iconic and that sort of thing. And I honestly prefer shopping online because I get Qantas points. So it's like way better for me to shop online. But I've never had Lacoste shoes before and so I didn't really know my size. So I was like, nah. And the lady was so helpful again. Pretty much everything was on sale and I am obsessed with these little sneakers. I'm actually probably going to wear them to golf as well. So they're just like a white leather or pleather. I'm not really sure. Got the little Lacoste alligator on there. But they're like this beigey pink accent. And on the top too. Like they are so cute. I'm such a fan of these. And they were so, so comfy and so cushiony. And these were like, I mean, they're Lacoste. So they're expensive. But they're on sale. So I made money. Oh. So these ones. Oh, sorry, this was witchery. The dress, the white dress was $135. Um, but I'm going to get so much wear out of that white dress. And witchery is really good quality, so I'm really happy to pay that. Um, where is my Lacoste receipt? Maybe she emailed it to me. I feel like these were around $120 or $140 for the Lacoste sneakers. Next up, Sephora. And now, I don't know if I just don't know things, but I didn't really know that Sephora did sales i in my mind mecca never really does sales which is like the other big department makeup store but sephora had 20 percent off if you spend over 100 dollars, and it's sephora so you can walk in sneeze and you've already spent 500 dollars. so naturally I, everything again was on my list estee lauder double wear Fun fact, I actually grew up like in my teen years wearing this because it was like my mum's foundation and like obviously I couldn't afford it with my pocket money and my mum was like, I'm going to buy you designer foundation when you're like 14, you can't even do your makeup properly. Actually, I never asked her, but I would just like sneak in like a little bit of hers and I was like, this is incredible. And then like as I grew up, I like bought my own. But a few years ago, I just sort of like steered away from it, not because it's bad or anything, like I love this foundation, but I just wanted to try different foundations. And so over the years, the Holy Grails, L'Oreal True Match for a Drugstore. And I really like the, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Skin Foundation. I think that's what it's called. That one's really good. I'm using that at the moment. I've also tried the YSL Touche Clay. I wouldn't write home about that one. But I'm really excited to go back to this. Like, go back to my roots. I do love the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I really wanted to get the Rare Beauty um, Blush what would you even call it? Like liquid blush, blush cream. But they literally had sold out completely. And the girl was like, yeah, that, that we only have them here. They're not going to be in any other spot. But it's saying that we have like six left, which means like people stole them. And she was actually not the first sales assistant that day to tell me that like theft was like insane that day. And I'm like, but it's Black Friday. Like everything's on sale. Just pay for it anyway. So that was devastating. That's the reason that I don't have my Rare Beauty blushes because... I'm gonna stall it, so that's a bit sad. I have the Dior Backstage Flash Perfect Concealer because I saw this all over TikTok. My NARS Creamy Concealer has been so true to my heart for about six years, and I just need a difference. Like I need, I need to change it up a little. I think I've been watching TikTok, and TikTok tells me that I need to try this one. It's very light, but yeah, I got her to color match me. It's yeah, I'm excited to try this one. So I find that I do have creases under my eyes and I don't know, maybe, maybe the NARS creamy is just not the best. I don't know. I'll keep you updated. And I also got a powder puff again, because TikTok, I just want to press my powder in under my eyes because my creases are horrific. So I don't know. I think this was a bit expensive. It was, um, again, I don't have a receipt. It was... I want to say like $120 for these three items at Sephora, but you know how it is. I will use every single one of them, I'm sure. 
Oh, I then went to David Jones again because something was on my list. I didn't get a bag because save the turtles. And I absolutely swear by these Calvin Klein underwear. They're called, let me check. So they're literally just called Seamless, the Calvin Klein Seamless. They're my holy grail knicker underwear. I have them in beige, black, white, in the bikini brief and in the thong. And I've got like one of each of those, but I don't do washing frequently enough that I like just thought I'd pick up another couple of pairs because they're on sale. So this is what they look like. They're just like the brief. This material. I can't. I'm someone who does not usually wear underwear. I don't like underwear. It's like a sensory thing. I don't really like clothes touching my body. But these, oh my god. Like I, mm -mm -mm -mm. these are incredible. I love them. And then I got like a little thong. The fabric, I don't know what it is. It's like butter. Like I feel like this is the equivalent of the Lululemon Aligns fabric. So stretchy. And then I, again, needed a strapless bra because I don't have one because I got my boobs done in July and... I just free ball. But this is Calvin Klein. I pretty much now exclusively wear Calvin Klein, but only because they're so comfortable and their sales are really good. So, what bra is this? It's the, oh, oh my God, I take it back. This is not a Calvin Klein bra, so sorry. It's a fine lines bra, which I've never heard of, but it was really comfy. And so I got it. And for the two underwear and the bra was $73. Not bad. We then have the personal favorite. I am embarrassed to admit, Lululemon, I filled up my cart about two weeks ago with everything that I wanted. I shopped online. I shopped in store. I went into the Champside Westville, bought this. I then went into the James Street Lululemon. They didn't have anything good. It was all the Champside. And I found these two other items that I had to like do a phone order because they were like interstate. And so it's safe to say that I should buy shares in Lululemon. I am obsessed. I'm someone who works out at least once a day. So 99% of my washing is active wear. Currently, I only have three pairs of Lululemon bike pants. So the week starts tomorrow, Monday. I wear them in the morning. I wear them in the afternoon for my run and Tuesday morning and then for the rest of the week I just don't have it. And I know the solution is to do the washing, but I'm going to ignore that. So what I really need actually is bike pants because I wear those like nothing else. Did I get bike pants? No, because they didn't have any in my size on sale. What I did get, however, oh yeah, this, okay, this was, I think pretty much my only impulse buy. So these are trousers. Why are we blurry? Okay, these are trousers. These are trousers from Lululemon. They're the Stretch High Rise 7 8 Pant. They were down from 190 to 99, which I know is obviously still expensive. And I saw these and I was like, they're actually really quite cute. I was like a little corporate work pant. So like when I go to conferences and stuff, um, I don't really have much business casual. I think I have like two Target dresses from when I used to like work in medical reception. But these, they're like a little three-quarter pan. I tried these on, you guys. They are the most, I would sleep in these. I, was ha I would happily sleep in these. They are the most comfortable, stretchy fabric. And I find that with like work trousers, they're kind of restrictive and like tight. And like these, I could easily pump out 100 full depth squats. Amazing. These are so comfy. Leo just got here. <gasps> Did you bring home a little someone? Oh, you don't have Fletcher with you. Oh, I... You said not bring her. No, you didn't ask me today. I thought Fletcher was here, but he didn't bring Fletcher. He just brought pizza, so it's okay. I'm excited for pizza. I then got the Love Crew, which is a tee, down from 65 to 44. And this color, mm, 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 it's looking more purple on camera. I would say this is like more pink. Again, the fabric, so freaking soft. Like, there's such good quality. So well made. Love this one. 
I then also got two t-shirts matching for my mum and I. We did a fun run this morning, like a women's best breast cancer fun run. It's called the Pink Run here in Brisbane. And this is my first Swiftly Tech tee, I think it's called. And it's like this hot pink, it's called Sonic Pink. And it is so comfy. Again, it's like so light and breathable and like, I would really recommend these. I already wore this, so it's kind of gross because it's all sunny and disgusting. And then finally, I had this on my list and I've been sort of on the lookout for which places had it on sale, which didn't. Interestingly, Wulgari doesn't do sales, which is like fair. Most designer stores don't. But I went into Sunglass Hut and they had these on sale. And I have been wanting these ones for a hot minute. So these, I've never owned Bulgari eyewear before. Usually I'm exclusively Prada. I think Prada make incredible eyewear. So the packaging is like beautiful. It's as if you would have bought it from the Bulgari store. These are the Serpenti black and they came in red and like a tortoiseshell brown. I'm obsessed with these. I think they're so chic. And I'm gonna get my prescription lenses popped in them because Despite only selling very fancy expensive sunglasses, they don't do any kind of like optical services, which is crazy to me. Like they would make a lot of money. Surely you should put optical lenses in there. I don't know. So I went to OPSM, they're gonna do that for me. I've ordered them. And so like the detailing on the side, I don't know if you guys can see, I need to cover my face. But it's like the classic serpenti like print and like some little, I don't know if they're like, I imagine they're not diamonds. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I love this shape so much. And I think that is actually everything. Yeah, that wraps up this little haul. Stay tuned for the next one when I unbox everything that I got online. See you guys in the next one.